Now then guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be taking a look at a new feature that's just been added to SharpCap Pro. It's planetary live stacking feature. So previous to this, it could only ever do deep sky live stacking, which was already an amazing feature and I had tons and tons of fun using it, to be honest with you. But now they've added planetary live stacking and to me in particular, that's very interesting because I'm not someone who really likes to faff around that much when it comes to planetary. I know some people, it's their bread and butter and they love it and I come completely get it. I, I do, I respect it. it. Takes a lot of skill to get it right. But for me, my bread and butter is deep sky stuff. So planetary is the, uh, you know, the bit on the side, if you will. So having this actually as a tool is going to be absolutely awesome. So as you can see, I've just got a region of interest set up. This is with the Richie Cretien that's kindly on loan from First Light Optics. Uh, links down below if you want to check those guys out and give them some support. So this is 2000 millimeters native set up with the player one poseidon c pro so an asi 2600 effectively camera so not at all actually a planetary setup but still we're going to give it a go and see what we can get so with the latest version of sharp Cap pro installed you're going to go to tools and live planetary stacking and then enhancement now before we do this just take a look at what's on the screen the quality of what we're dealing with right now it doesn't look good at all it's, it's a terrible night for planetary tonight but all the same Let's go ahead and make sure everything's reset. And we're just going to let it stack up a target stack length of 100 of the best frames that it can. I've got it set to only add the best 25% of the frames to the stack. So it's going to choose like a rolling best 100 out of 400, if you will. And now you can see it's stacked up and it already looks a lot better. But we can start to color balance it a little bit. So you see it's, it was too green before. Now I'm going to bias it slightly back towards those kind of browns and yellow tones. But we can go another step now as well and do some wavelet sharpening. So if I just turn up wavelet level one a little bit, don't want to go too too far on this. Start to get some slight ringing artifacts there around one of the uh, Galilean moons. Now let's just try wavelet level two a moment. Sorry about the uh, pauses in communication as I do this, taking up my entire brain cell. And then like wavelet level three, and uh, it looks a lot better now. I think we're seeing some dimming due to the fact we've got passing clouds. I'm doing this on a night that's uh, well, absolutely horrendous to be honest with you. There you go. You can see we're, <laughs> we're just losing Jupiter thanks to cloud cover. I'll just turn on the uh, the guide scope. Yeah, we can't see a darn thing. But if we wait for it to come back in just a moment, perhaps uh, or not, hopefully you can see that it can turn. Um, Bit of a silk, a silk purse out of a sow's ear, effectively. Um, let's just go again while I've got a little bit of clear sky. Let it go. And boom. We're starting to get a uh, you get quite a nice image of Jupiter, I'd say. There's some quite a lot of cloud belt detail. The great red spot just about to disappear off around the side. Unbelievable. For someone like me, this is absolutely perfect. I'm going to use this feature tons more than I would use say Registax and auto stack it and that kind of thing because it's all in one place and quite frankly i'm lazy <laughs> do you know what i mean it's planetary for me as i say i love it but i never really get the opportunity to do it properly so um this is absolutely perfect i can dip my toe in the waters and give it a try when otherwise i wouldn't be up for the effort involved uh as i said because i'm, I'm a little bit lazy for it so We've got a fully working tool there, guys. We can have a ton of fun using this thing. And even while it's set up on a bad, bad, bad night, it really is a terrible night. I can't stress that enough. Uh, it's, it's making a usable image. And I think as well, it's worth noting, I don't know what your thoughts are on this, but if you were doing any outreach kind of work, that, that sort of thing, the last thing you really want to be doing is having people looking over your shoulder at a laptop screen and then just saying, ah, but just, just wait a minute while I fire up Registax and then auto stacker and run it through a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Trying to stack things up. Um, no, people want to be able to see on the screen an effective live view. And that's exactly what this offers. It's never going to be as good as using those tools manually, but it's more than good enough for me. So uh, yeah, massive kudos to the sharp cap. Guy, Robin Glover. Absolutely amazing. The stuff that he keeps coming out with for this. By the way, um, just grad onto this video as well, just as a little bonus extra. I want to touch upon the fact we can't test it because of all the clouds right now, but they've added 
plate solving tool into sharp gap now so go to catalog target slash coordinates and you can actually go to anywhere you like in the night sky it's got a fully fledged search button you can even search for solar system objects so if i go for jupiter you see right there he knows it's at 48.8 degrees approaching meridian right now so he even knows the elevation it's really cool and it works well i've tested it out just a little bit in some uh, brief patches uh, before I recorded this video for you guys uh, and I'm dead impressed so yeah that's about it from me another short video I realized but I am so up against it with this weather lately so I'm gonna leave it there and I'm just gonna say as always guys thanks ever so much for watching thank you for your time your support I can't tell you how much I appreciate you all uh, and that is about it I'm gonna leave you there and just say I uh, hope to see you very soon look after yourselves and clear skies.